It's there! Ids puts it in! That's his sixth! <laughs> Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 56, Football Manager 20, and uh, we are getting near the winter transfer window, or January transfer window. Taking a look after the uh, last episode, we had the 3-0 defeat to Man City in the Carabao Cup. We had a 2-2 draw with Sheffield United, Pavlovich and Marinoff with goals. A nil-nil draw with Liverpool, who are near top of the table. And a shocking 2-1 victory over top of the table, Man United. Nunez and Coffey with the goals. Coffey scored his first goal for the club since joining in the offseason. So we are doing pretty well, pretty well. Taking a look at the goal leaders. Uh, not much change. Nunez now on six. Uh, one in three, the last three. Id's still stuck on five. Uh, we have had a development, and that is that one of our team leaders, Aaron Collins, has put in a transfer request. Uh, he came to me and he says, you know, I've done everything I can do here, and I would just like to move on for the betterment of my career. And I said, you know what? I I get it. I get it. He hadn't played horribly, but he hadn't played great. Hasn't scored. He's only played three three matches this year. Only one in the league, playing a 6.5. So he's not doing badly in non-competitive, but that's U23s. And that doesn't really count. But he is still showing that he still has an eye for the goal. I, I'd, I'd be tempted to just stick him in the starting lineup and, and see what happens, but I don't know. I don't know if I can do that in good faith. I don't know if I could do that in good faith. But anyway, we picked up uh, five points from our last three. That has moved us up to ninth position, 16 points in 13 matches, and we're only five off of uh, Europa, so... Um, that would be nice to go out with at least a qualification. But again, don't think that's our goal this year. And boy, wow, we're, we're – Man United has double plus one, and Man City is just rolling. They have yet to lose a match this year. And we are one of only two clubs to give Man United a defeat. So, yeah, that's not too, too bad. All right, well, let's get to today's match. Man City has already beaten Burnley in the early match. We are away. We are underdogs. So what I've been doing is I went back to this tactic when we're home or favored, and then I've gone to this tactic when we're away or underdogs. So we're going to go with this one. Just for old time's sake. Now, Collins, yeah, let's reverse those guys. Mitchell's back from his suspension. I really want Berg in here. I'm going to put Berg in the game. And that gives us Uijan on the bench. Again, overachieving. But I am liking the way the team's playing. Whoa, that just goes wide of the mark. We're still playing cautious. We're going to ask for a little more creativity. Matty Cash over the top. Collins onto it. Oh, that would have been brilliant. That would have been brilliant for Collins to put one in the net there. Let's praise him now. Maybe not right before a set piece, but Gerard goes in and makes the play. Lumped out. Fisher. And it's Collins, his first goal of the season. Oh, and he celebrates. Oh, 
he did a great job. So this is Collins up here. He's off sides right there. He holds up. He, I mean, he literally stopped. And Fisher, Fisher with some, some intelligence finally. Oh, yeah. He just got back on sides. But Fisher, we've seen him struggling in uh you know with sh with shots with his with his finishing oh that was that was kind of a cheap goal there guys we got to do better than that got to do a better job than that let's demand more i'm going to go up to to balanced cuz we're actually not looking bad uh, pilch by Pilfer, Pilch by Pilfer, by Fisher. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. I have no idea. Oh, uh, should have been all over that ball. We really had a good opportunity there and let it get away. Ooh, there was a big turn on that ball. That was dangerous. All right, well, maybe we want to come back, uh, Bilotti. I think we're going to come back to Cautious again. We're going to ask for some more creativity. All right, uh, Berg, we're going to bring on him, and Bilotti will bring on him. I don't like to bring off my center backs if I can help it, but when they're on a yellow, they can't be quite as aggressive. So, demand more. Uh, Fisher for La Quintana. No, no, no. Oof. Offsides, thank goodness. Oh, can we nick a point? Can we nick the win? It's there! Ids puts it in. That's his sixth. Off the set piece. Oh my goodness. Did not see that coming. Thought it would be great if we could get a set piece to nick a win. Wasn't expecting that to happen. We have not seen a finish like that off a corner in quite a while. Pavlovich with the player of the match, 7.9 rating and an assist. Fisher with an assist. Collins and Ids with the goals. And Collins, what a game. Wow. Wow. Really surprised by that. Six unbeaten in a row. That's a nice change of pace from uh, seven without a win, right? That moves us up into eighth. And only two points behind Wolves. We've got a shot, I suppose. We were concerned about the 3-0 defeat to Man City. You realize Man City is running away with the league and hasn't lost a match all year. And we got to the fourth round where we were supposed to get to. Oh, well. All right, we'll be right back for the next match. So we're back to play Swansea at home today. We are the favorites. So with that being the case, we are going to pop up. And let's go positive. Let's ramp it up a little bit and... We'll keep an eye on that. We do have a couple of injuries. Maddie, well, suspension for Matty Cash. Pavlovich is injured for about three weeks with a pulled calf muscle. Um, boy, boy. I am tempted. I'm tempted to bring Collins on again. <laughs> I'm tempted. Let's do that. So Collins and Ids up top. Mitchell, Henderson, Coffey, Fisher in the midfield. Sirkin, Adaraboyo, Bilotti, and Fosu Mensa on the back line. Gerard on in goal. I would like to play 
you know what, let's start Wharton today. He's got partnership with Mitchell from last season. Let's see if that helps us any. I don't know if it will. Can't hurt. Collins and Ids don't have their partnership anymore. I guess just not enough games together. But we'll see. Uh, Eddie and Kedia playing for Swansea now, huh? Tell you what, I was a big Inkedia fan when he came to Leeds last year. And uh, I don't know. He uh, Honestly, I just picture him as a quitter. He, uh, oh, there was a good shot by Fisher. Uh, you know, he just, you know, quitting in midseason and wanting to go back to Arsenal because he hadn't played enough. And I, I get it, but... He had to know he was brought in. There's a goal. Fosu Minsa, his first goal of the season. Yes, yes. And uh, so he was our starter last year. Lost that starting job with the upgrades that we did this year, right? And uh, so we put him in, and he pops one in the goal. Ooh, that was ugly. I don't think the keeper should have come out for that one. Too many people in his way. And that was way out of the box. He just got in front of it, and that was an empty netter. And there's a header that just goes astray. Oh, look at that. Ids with the goal off the throw-in. It got through a line of players. Not sure how it fell to him, but it did. Oh, I think he was off sides. Must not have been. He must have been on when the ball was thrown in. Good on him. Good header down. Play it through. Play it through. All right, Henderson, get to it, get to it. And there's a header that goes in. Ryan Fisher, his first goal of the season. Craig Mitchell with the assist. We are going to give him some praise now, and let's go ahead and dial back to balanced. 3-1 advantage. Back post. Oh, we had two chances to put that one in. Just could not find the angle. That would have been another set piece goal conceded. All right, Fisher picks up an injury potential lower leg. Let's go ahead and swap him out. Yeah, let's go ahead and put Cherlinov in there. He's right footed. I think that's good. He can cross the ball decently. Clark can cross the ball better, and he can dribble the ball well, too. But passing, Cherlinov is a better passer. Let's go with that, and, yep, we will go back to the dressing room. Excellent efforts. We have the one yellow card to deal with. And we are looking pretty solid today. Only two shots for Swansea in the first half. Let's, uh, let's ask him to concentrate. There's a good header down, up to Collins. Collins, what a step. Oh, that would have been a brilliant finish. But, boy, that was a burst of speed from him that I forgot he had. He's always, you know, from the from the first time we started, we have, uh, he's always played well above his star rating. Uh, let's go ahead and pull a sub here. Let's bring him off for... Sirkin, do I want him in there? Fosu Mensa. Tell you what, let's bring Fosu Mensa into the middle. Let's do that. A little bit of playing out of position, but that keeps us with our better defenders on the back line. All right, Igor makes the big save for Swansea there. We can't press our advantage. Good control. Wharton up the left side. 
Back to Henderson. Finds coffee. Oh, make, Collins makes a run into the corner. Collins stays on it. Henderson, take a shot. There it is. His first goal of the season. And we have a bunch of players now look like they're coming online. Uh, a lot of these newer players, a bunch of them have started to finish their language courses. And now we're starting to see a lot of these players with their first goals of the season. That could bode well for us down the stretch. Let's praise Mitchell. Back post. Oh, the keeper with a great save there. I thought that was going to go in. And it goes all the way back to our keeper. Played out to Wharton. Up to Hindu. Squared out to Coffee, who starts a run. He lays it off to Sinklin on the overpass. Overpass, ah, overlap. Ah. What the hell? Collins! Get in there! His second goal in as many games. And he is looking... Oh. You know, we talked about this coming into the season that I, I wanted to keep playing him. But we just signed so many players that looked so much better than him. How crazy is that? Let's give him some last-minute praise. What a game. 30-3 to three on shots. Was not expecting that kind of performance. A 9.2 rating for Fosu Mensa. 9 for Henderson. 9 for Mitchell. We looked really good there. We looked world class. Gotta love that. Oh, big win. And this is still a team that should be above us in the table. So three wins in a row. Tottenham has dropped points in five matches in a row. We're actually even. And only goal differential is hurting us. So we are making a push here to be a top six club right now. Dominant win. Fisher's only out for a day or two, as is Aboraboyo. Fosu Mensa, player of the match. Three key passes. I got a I like the passing. We're gonna we're gonna always praise that. So a pair of wins today, huh? 2-1 and 5-1. Have to like that. I think what we're gonna do is we are gonna come back in January at the start of the window. Uh, let's plan on Newcastle and Reading. Reading in the FA Cup third round. And that's where we're starting at. They want us to reach the fifth round minimum. So we really need to win that match to advance. And that starts our home stretch run. Uh, let's see. Tenth or fifth. Tell you what, we might come back for Reading and Norwich. We might do that. Not seeing we won't have an opportunity to see either one of them again down the stretch. But, you know, we are entering our last handful of episodes. So, you know, let me get, yeah, let's, that's my plan. Let's plan for that. We'll come back at the beginning, you know, yeah, let's come back right at the beginning of the window, Newcastle, Reading, and then maybe we come back for Tottenham and Palace. Maybe we skip and do Tottenham and Villa and do a, tr a transfer window and then uh, one or two more to finish out the season that uh, four four or five episodes maybe down the second half of the season that's kind of the game plan we'll play it by ear as i always do hit that like button subscribe what a we are on a good run here all of a sudden out of nowhere thanks so much hope you guys are enjoying the save hope you're looking forward to fm 21 uh, what I'm going to do the rest of the weekend is I'm going to go back through all my FM20 videos uh, or playlists, see what clubs I've played. And in fact, I might do that all the way back to FM17 and just compile what leagues I've done, what t clubs I've done. And then that'll help me kind of narrow down maybe a direction to go. You know, there's only a few places like I won't ever do a turkey save. Sorry. And uh, I won't ever do Man United. 
just can't do it. But uh, yeah, I, I need to really kind of get my thoughts together on uh, what we're going to do here for uh, FM21. So guys, we will see you next episode. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.